Greetings humans, Spinning Mantis here with the next episode of Blues and Bullets, Bubbleheads and New Choices. Thanks for joining me. Last episode, we kind of investigated all of the ship. We had already captured Ivankov, and when I said I was going to bring Ivankov to the police, Milton punched us in the face. So here we go. Wake up, Elliot. Are we there? No. Whoa, that's some teeth. But from here we have to go on foot. Go back and play uh, Life is Strange with uh, Bubbleheads. That could be cool. We've been in the car for two hours. You going to tell me why we're here? Because we need to get there. Come on, Jim. Be patient. I told you it's a surprise. I want you to find out for yourself. Or don't you like surprises? You know I don't. I'm trying to make Santa Esperanza safe and secure. Surprise implies a lack of security. I got all the security I need in this gun. If you say so. Do as I say and you'll see. Take it from Jim Dockers. Because you're my friend, right? Don't let your guard down. That's not foreshadowing. Have you heard of the Voduna cult? You mean voodoo? Dolls and needles? Yes and no. It's different varieties of the same thing. The Vodun religion from East Africa. In Cuba, they call it Vodou. In Haiti, it's Voodoo. Kid Dockers. Santa Esperanza had its own version. A little community that lived in these woods, no more than 200 people, I reckon. Had. Right. They say practically all of them died. A sort of civil war sparked up by betrayal. Mm. Betrayal between friends. Mm. Really? What kind of betrayal? The Bodonas place particular importance on a person's name. They chose a name for themselves when they reached adulthood and they only revealed it to their partners and their descendants. Is that so? It is. The legend says that while he was out hunting with his right-hand man, the chief of the Vodunas was attacked by... Not such a dumb idea. I wish no one knew my name. Well, for the Vodunas, it wasn't that simple. Ah, shit. Help me with this, Elliot. One, two, three! Ugh. They had different names for it. Data to use. Nicknames similar to Indian names. Anyway, Stalker's out hunting. Puts his tie inside his vest. Attacked by a bear. Okay. Don't tell me you dragged me into a wood full of bears. I wasn't joking when I told you not to let your guard down. Shit. The chief's wounds look fatal, so he confided in his best friend, the best hunter in the tribe and whispered his true name to him. The hunter left him in the woods, went back to the village, and told the news to the chieftain's wife and children. 
Now that's tough. It's a lot of cojones to give someone that kind of news. That's why I always take care of it. But I wouldn't pity him. <clears throat> Sullivan River. Flows into the Donovan Dam, I think. I didn't think geography was your department. Sometimes I like to dabble in things that aren't officially my department. Oh. So I see. Zing! According to Baduna law, from the moment the hunter whispered the dead husband's name to the chief's wife, he would take his place. In what sense? In the eyes of the tribe, he became him. He had to take on his role, fulfill his duties, raise his children, and sleep with his wife. Damn. Should be right here. What? The sign tells us which way we have to go. Must be hidden in the undergrowth. You look for it. I'll stand guard. No, I'll stand guard. Okay, then. So you can't choose. Well, you can choose the opposite. He just won't let you. Alright. Huh. This burned out a long time ago. Weeks, I guess. Okay. Bear trap. What kind of hunter abandons his trap when he leaves the woods? Not a hunter. Hunters don't do that. Hunter's hunt. It's a trap. And a human arm, which never gets resolved. Animal attack. No doubt about it. N it mm. I mean, there might have been an animal attack. It looks more to me like his arm, some of his arm was chopped off in a bear trap. And then the animal's not on it after it was chewed off. Ness is not a terribly good detective. Here's the sign. Looks like it was knocked over by a poacher's prey. Well spotted. Let's go on. You taking me to a church? It's never a bad time to confess your sins. So right, take me to church. Idea. Ah, you are blocking my target. Ah, sorry. Like, what the heck, dude? What's wrong with you, Dockers? What's the problem? Old age. I can't compete with a young marksman like you. You're not going after it? Let's not push our luck. I don't want our story to end up like the Baduna chieftain and the hunter. Okay, let's go. They built the chapel after the massacre of the Vaduna people. You still haven't told me how that happened. The hunter became the chief and moved in with his family. It wasn't the first time that kind of thing had happened. But one thing did happen for the first time. The wounds the bear had inflicted on the real chief were less serious than they seemed. A few days later, he came back and claimed what was his. But the hunter wasn't so sure. He was the chieftain now. According to Vaduna law, he was right, wasn't he? The old chief had given his name and his identity to the hunter. 
He wasn't who he was before. He had no right to demand it back. Sometimes the law isn't everything. At least that's what many of the Vadunas thought. But the rest of the village didn't see it that way. The Vadunas were split into supporters of the new chief and the old one, and, well, you know how it all ended. Elliot, I have a problem. I think Delphine is cheating on me with another man. Whoa. Some nights when I lie down next to her in bed, her hair smells of gunpowder. Someone who regularly handles guns is touching her. Do you have any idea who it could be? See, I think we are going to admit to it. Even though that is the same decision we made last time, we're just making other little decisions. I think we're going to confess. Um, I'm sorry, Jim. I should have told you before. I don't even know how it started. I... Jim, please, put the gun down. Yeah, Jim, put it down. You're late. You know why they built this chapel? We know. Typical Americans. They find that a bunch of crazies from some wacky religion have killed each other and they build them a church, huh? <laughs> As if the dead give a damn about their Christian God. Jim, what's going on? I told you, it's a surprise. Who's going in? He is. Me? Trust me. Wish the statues had uh, bubble heads. Yeah, you believe in Godness? So before I said in my own way, and now I'm going to if say I yes. I couldn't survive this war. Someone had some fun at these critters' expense. Rose. Mary Magdalene, the prostitute who repented and washed the feet of Christ. Huh. So I wonder if we can get a better look at this. It doesn't let you change camera angles, so no, I really can't. I'm interested to see. No, that's not my cob at all. There's a uh, skull over the confessional. I have a gun pointing at your head. I could kill you right now. But you haven't. So you're either a big mouth or a coward. I won't shoot. I'm here to help you. Yeah? Look under your knees.
What is this? To you, just a bunch of scribbles. But to someone who knows what he's looking at, it could be prison bars for Capone. You telling me Capone wrote down every one of his crimes? Very funny, Ness. Your financial specialist Garrison, you'll know what to do. Hmm. I said reason the first time. Who are you? What do you care? I'm serving you Capone's head on a golden plate. Don't ask questions. Just beat it, Ness. The sooner you set Garrison to work, the sooner all this will be over. God, I hate cops. Carmine? Please, no. Why? He threatened my kids. Capone? No, you're his right-hand man, his chief executioner. He's lost his mind. He suspects everyone and everything. He has to be stopped. Don't kill me, for my kid's sake. You remember Don Prescott? 33 years on the force, my first partner. You left his face in such a mess, they had to make him a clay mask so his family could look at him at the funeral. Capone wanted him dead. What about Amber Fisher, 15 years old? You held her prisoner for three days. She committed suicide only hours before we came to rescue her. I don't need to remind you what you did to her, do I? I was following orders. No. Capone orders you to kill. You improvise. Apparently this guy is a very, very bad guy. This. Elliot, don't do it. He's a rapist. Like man and it'll a murderer. Life. He's I just always gone trial. free. We're cops, not killers. Jesus, that's weren't you... Control your anger! Weren't you the most honest man in Santa Esperanza? So, we didn't kill him the first oh, time, we will me. this time. You don't know what you just started. No matter what monster you're facing, next time you find yourself in a situation like that, control your anger, or you'll be lost forever. I didn't want to do that. That's just a different choice. The scene should be different because this was. Thank you, Ness. Thank you. You saved me. I'm bullied. And take it easy, Carmine. I've saved the ones meant for your children, too. Don't worry about the damage I made you do to your beloved boss. I'll make it up to him. After all, he needs a new right hand man now. Thanks for the book. Okay, that was different. I don't think he mentioned about saving the kids. Maybe by killing him we actually saved his kids. Because if you choose the other thing, Ivan Koff executes him. He slits his throat. Carmine, get in touch with you? How did you do it? It doesn't matter. Stroke of luck. Now, all we need to do is be careful. See what Garrison can find. Jim, about Delphine? Shut it. First we finish Capone. Then we talk.
Yeah, this is uh, happening for me, man. It's It's only logical that Dogger should abandon you. He just told him you're screwing his wife. Honest and moronic. But what about the others? What will they think of you? Here's the fear section of the game. How come you lose touch with everyone, Ness? Anyone who gets close to you winds up dead. You should try to save her, right? The question is, can you? Do you even want to? Refusing to help a two-bit thief who walks into your restaurant is one thing, but abandoning a friend in trouble? No, please, no. Whoa. What was that? It was like an antler thing? Huh. Well then. Well, well, well. The wire was tapped. They broke into my house. Why could you get me mixed up in this? Alice! I'll find you. The 
Josephine, no, not you. I was followed, Elliot, from the diner. What are you mixed up in? Ah, I see. You're suggesting an escape plan to your secret sweetheart. Delphine, no, not you. Don't worry, Delphine, I'm coming. Just a giant nose. What are you going to do when you're done crying? Now you don't even have the option of getting drunk. We're failure. You're just a giant nose. You have the cojones to finish off his goon in the church. What? Can you deal with I'm inside my own head. We're failure. The only thing you ever did right was put me away. <laughs> that is a weird glitch. How? <laughs> Tell me. It's Elephant Capone. Oh, he's trying to kiss me. Oh, blues and bullets. I think this is where we're at then Die. yep Dar well that is going to be it for this episode because I think I know how much time we got left and that will make for a good next episode Anyway, if you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe, and join me for the next episode of Blues and Bullets, Bobbleheads, and New Choices. That's all for now. Spinning Mantis out. Namaste.